Welcome to BMBBH News with Kev. News without the WS. His wife accused. And that woman has now been arrested and charged with murder. That shooting happened in a Missouri City neighborhood, and the couple's baby was there inside the home. Investigators are trying to sort out the details here. Certainly not an easy task because they say the woman's story has been inconsistent. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker live in that neighborhood on Americana Drive. Taisha, a lot of questions here. Dominique, police say that the wife claims that the shooting that happened inside of that home this morning was an accident, but police also say they spoke with the husband before he died on the way to the hospital, and his story was different, which is why that wife is now charged with murder. Jacqueline Elaine Thomas is charged with murder, her mugshot being seen here for the first time. Missouri City Police say the 43-year-old mother initially claimed she shot her husband in the chest by accident while their five-month-old child was present. Once officers arrived, looked at the evidence and some inconsistencies in the stories and a statement by the victim, uh, it was discovered that it was not so accidental. Investigators have identified the victim as 42-year-old Eugene Liger. Captain Paul Poulton says there was a disturbance between the couple prior to the 2.30 a.m. fatal single shot. Poulton says officers had visited the couple's home in the past. We have some history at the residence, but nothing related to family violence of, of this nature at all. Captain Poulton says Thomas stopped talking to investigators after she was taken into custody. She initially had... Uh, some comments to make, but once she was taken into custody, she invoked her right to have an attorney present. And police tell us that the five-month-old was not harmed and is now staying with someone else. They also tell us that the couple shared four children from prior relationships. We're also told that they were not home at the time. We do know that CPS is investigating. Reporting live in Missouri City, Taisha Walker, KPRC, 2 News. Wow, what a shame. A uh, domestic dispute ends in murder. And um, this is one thing that the, our society and really in the black community that we don't take uh, into account the role of the woman in these disputes. Um, first off, why was she even pointing the gun at him in the first place? Now, when she shot him, he came to consciousness on the way to the hospital long enough to tell his final story of what happened. And she says it was an accident. Now, how do you accidentally shoot someone? How do you accidentally put your finger on the trigger? So I'm calling BS. That's, that's, that's just my take on it. You know, that, I mean, when the facts come out that could prove otherwise. Now, for her to pull a gun on him, what kind of relationship did they have in the first place? And then they said they were arguing around 2.30 in the morning. But, you know, by her saying it was an accident, she also could identify that it was in front of their five-month-old. Wow. The, uh, we can only hope that the five-month-old doesn't remember anything about what happened or has not experienced any kind of trauma. Um... But thank God the five-month-old is with uh, other relatives that are more um, sane than Miss Jacqueline Thomas here, the assailant. What reason would have, she would have to lie unless it was just to hide the truth? What a bizarre, tragic situation. So for those of you in the comments, uh, before you start seeing stuff like, well, maybe he was abusing her or... Maybe it's mental illness. Mental illness go unchecked in the black community, which is true. But as of the making of this video, none of that has been proven yet. So we are gonna withhold uh, some, we should withhold some thoughts to the facts come out. That's all I'm saying. But all I know is this, Eugene Liger is dead. And now that five month old and his other kids and her other kids are without a daddy. Rest in peace, Eugene Liger. This is Kev. This is BMBBH News. News without the WS. Till next time.